I'm Dan Brown. This is my new novel, Inferno, and you are watching Book Zone. Dan Brown, thank you very much indeed for joining me. Tell us a little bit about Inferno. Uh, well, Dante's Inferno is obviously an epic poem written in the late 1300s. Uh, this book, this novel, is inspired uh, by Dante's Inferno in that it is a journey uh, that Langdon takes, the hero Robert Langdon, through what some may consider the rings of hell. Uh, he has quite a journey uh, battling a villain who is a Dante fanatic and, uh, and a bit of a futurist. And uh, I don't want to ruin any of the surprises, but he's on quite a chase through, through Florence and some other locations. I think I can say that a scientist tries to wipe out millions of people. Is there a serious message here about overpopulation? Uh, certainly. In the last 85 years, the population on planet Earth has tripled, tripled in one lifetime. We're adding more than 200,000 new people every day. All of the problems that we consider environmental, whether it's you know, starvation or, or deforestation, no clean water, these are all symptoms of overpopulation. And futurists really consider overpopulation the, the big issue. You don't often do public events. Why this time? You know, I'm very, I'm very excited about this book. I want to share my enthusiasm with the fans. And also a chance to speak at Freemasons Hall uh, is an honor. So I, I said yes. Why are you here today? Uh, to see Dan Brown, of course. See what his new book is all about. I think he's a brilliant author, really. I mean, he's so captivating. I read all his books and want to find out more. What message would you like to give to your fans? That I just hope that they enjoy this book, that I've worked very, very hard on it. I hope that they have, have fun and become inspired, maybe to rediscover or discover for the first time Dante's Divine Comedy and all the great artwork that Dante inspired. Mr. Dan Brown. I want to acknowledge that tonight, what has brought us together in this space is quite simply books. Those magical artifacts that share ideas across borders, across cultures, across languages, and most importantly, across time. You do claim that all of your books are based on fact. Tell us though, what is the fact and what is the fiction in this book? The documents, the locations, uh, these are all real things. I want people to know that when this fictional character or any of the fictional characters enter a church, that church really exists. When they look at a, at a parchment, that parchment is real. Um, of course, you know, whatever ideas they may draw, you know, those are their own. You're 48 years old. You've sold more than 200 million books. What is the secret of your success? Um, I think it's a lot of hard work and a lot of luck. On the very first page of my novel, you will find a famous Dante-inspired quote, which reads, the darkest places in hell are reserved for those who maintain their neutrality in times of moral crisis. Critics have given Inferno a harsh time. People often say that they're great page turners, but they're not going to win any kind of literary prizes. What do you think of criticism like that? Um, again, when you're, when you're a creative person, whether you're a writer, a musician, a painter, all you have to guide you is your own taste. And I write a book to my taste, and I hope people share my taste. I'm not really setting out to win any awards. I'm setting out to write a book that, that I would like to read. And so, you know, as for the critics, uh, I wish they loved it, but, uh, you know, some of them do, some of them don't, and life goes on. You have spoken about writer's block. I believe you hang upside down in order to cure that. Tell me about that. Uh, I do have gravity boots. I hang upside down pretty much every day. I realize it sounds very strange. It's, uh, it's not really all that strange. Uh, it oxygenates your brain, it's, uh, it's, and it also sort of helps you see the world in a slightly different perspective. So, what next? Uh, I never talk about what I'm writing next, but I will tell you that I, am, you know, I have a whole lot of ideas, and I am starting to create an outline for something new. Dan Brown, thank you very much indeed. Well, pleasure's mine. The book is Inferno, and the author is Dan Brown.